Hey guys, DJ Sam here, and we're back with another Cinema 4D tutorial. And last time I showed you uh, making cloth tags and making things like turn into blankets. And um, that was all fun in games, and if you didn't uh, catch that, be sure to check it out. And the link is on the screen right now. Okay, so, um, so basically today what we're doing is now we are going to be working on making a flag. Because somebody on my website asked me... And um, I decided to go with it. So um, we're gonna try and make a flag. So the first thing you want to do is make the you want to make the base. So that's going to be like uh, the pole. So you're gonna grab a cylinder and make it small enough, like that much, and then make it long enough so that it looks like a legit pole. And then let me see if I actually went over the I went off the ground. Looks kind of dumb. Okay. So now you have the pole, and now you can start with a flag. Like the actual flag. I don't know what the heck's going on with my cinema 40. Okay. So now you're going to go to um, the shapes and grab a plane, and you're going to bring it up and rotate it to a 90 degree angle. Exactly 90 degrees. It could be like 90.7 or something, but it has to be around 90 degrees. And then you're going to resize it to not to be square, but to be more like rectangular, like a normal flag. And then you're going to want to put it into, like, you see how there's this grid right here? Um, you're going to want to see have half this first grid into the pipe. So not the rest of it, just half of it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now you're going to right-click on the plane, go to cloth tags, go to cloth. And we did this last time, too. Now you're going to click on it and click C. So that will create this uh, layer like that. And then you come down here and you click this button right here. And now it should make a, a whole bunch of dots here now. So now, um, now that we have it like this, you're going to drag right here. You're gonna, uh, put your mouse at the top, just click down. Doesn't matter what you have, you should have the select tool on. And then you should um, select, you won't be able to see anything, but you should be selecting. Like these points right here um, are also inside of here, so you should be selecting the inside of it. Like, see, these pull points are over here too, but you can't see them, so you, you're going to be selecting them. So now you, you selected them, but you can't really see them. So now you're going to go to your plane right here and click on the uh, block tag and go to dresser, and then press it says fix points and click set. So now when you play it, it'll become like a normal flag again. Now, we don't want this, we want it to have wind. So now, um, first, you're going to want to get your picture that you're going to put on your flag. And since I'm Canadian, I'll put the Canada flag on. So, you're going to um, import your photo by just going onto the material, and then clicking load image, and then when you have your image, you'll have a sampling and change it to none. So now, now you can just drop that on, and yay, and the flag's here. So now, uh, now, if we want to add wind, you click on the cloth tag, and you come down here, and you go to forces. So now, you have the wind and everything. So, with the wind, what we're going to do is we're going to take it up to the direction, like this is where it's going to, um, like, fly to. So 7.5 is good on the X, Y, just take it up to, like, 1, 2, um, yeah, something like that. And then, you'll have to change the strength, make sure you change the strength, because um, last time I did this too, and I forgot, and, yeah, it was, like, I, don't, I was like, why doesn't it move? So, yeah, you're gonna have to change the strength. Don't go too high, if it goes too high, it, like, stretches out and, like, messes up your Cinema 4D. So, just go, like, three or something. And then, you have this, but, I still, for me, I still want some, um, some more strength on that wind. Just take it up to five. Now, it looks like a flag. So, now, if you... Look out of that, it starts to look like a flag. So, you guys just made your own flags. Like, if you want to decorate it, you can like, add a sphere up here and look at it. Looks like, uh, crap, what do I do? So, like, a small Google ball at the top of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just made yourself a flag, and you can make the pole longer. You can add like a floor to it to make it look cool. Um, like for me, I was doing this British project, 
So I made the British flag, and then I put a, a red coat um, British person. It was, for, it was for like an Assassin's Creed kind of thing. So yeah, that's basically it. You guys just made your own flag on Cinema 4D. See you guys later. Bye.